Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team. Today I'm excited to share with you the new 2024 through 2025 annual catalog. This is such a fun catalog. We are so excited for the new layout and design and how it can appeal to all sorts of people that want a different crafting experience. I want you to think about what kind of crafting experience you are most interested in. Some days it might be one crafting experience and some days it might be another crafting experience. We have outlined in the catalog, there are three different crafting experiences. The first one is somebody looking for a choreographed crafting experience. This is someone looking for an experience of creating quick paper crafts with full step-by-step -step instructions to help guide you. The second is the casual crafting experience. This is someone looking to discover new crafting ideas using a variety of paper pieces, cardstock, envelopes, and more. And then we have our avid crafter, someone looking to let their inspiration flow. You can start projects from scratch and create something new. In our office, we have all sorts of crafters just like these three. We have Jen, who loves to take kits or paper pumpkin and do kit nights with her friends. We have Beth, who I would consider a more casual crafter, who loves just the simple stamps, inks, and paper. And we have Jill, who is our avid crafter. She loves it all, she wants it all, and she will get it all. <laughs> so I want you to think about what kind of crafting experience you might be looking for. And like I said, it might change from day to day and that's one of the best things about this new catalog. There are three main focuses with this new catalog, relationships, experiences, and product. Throughout, you will see the focus put on one of these three things. Let's start with the front cover. The front cover of this catalog is so beautiful. I absolutely love this idea of this group of ladies joining together to craft. They look like they're having a great time and I don't know about you, but I wanna be friends with them. <laughs> I wanna join them and craft with them. This is something that you'll find throughout the annual catalog, crafting experiences and relationships with friends. I want you to think about a friend you have made strictly through the crafting world. Wouldn't you love to share the experience with them, just like these ladies on the front cover? It kind of brings to mind all those happy feelings that you have when you've crafted with somebody. Okay, let's jump into the actual catalog. First off, the two pages that I think will mean the very most to you in this catalog are the table of contents page. This is a great page. It's right in the front of the book, pages two and three. This is where you'll wanna go when you are trying to decide which kind of crafting experience that you want. It will tell you the page for the step-by-step -step crafting, the quick and easy options, and creativity your way. And it also has listed the sweet collections, the bundles, stamping techniques, accessories, and crafting techniques. It gives you all of the things that you'll need to have a great crafting experience. The other page that I think you'll want to bookmark in your catalog is the index. This is just as important, but for a completely different reason. If you know what the name of the stamp set, the dies, the punch, or whatever you're wanting to use is, you'll come to the back of the catalog if you know exactly what you're looking for, and you'll find it here. So for example, if you're looking for adhesives, you can go here and see that's on page 116 and 117. If you want a specific die set, you'll look for the name, it's in alphabetical order, and you'll find the page number. If you're looking for the page with ribbon on it, it's on page 113. Or if you're looking for a specific tool or storage, you'll come to the tools and storage section and look for it here. This is a great tool to use when using this catalog. Let's get to the fun stuff. We're going to start with our step-by-step -step crafting area in the catalog. It starts on page five. In this section, you're going to see a very basic offering of what kits we offer, but there's so much more. There's a QR code here that you can scan to see the all-inclusive kits that we offer online in our online store. There's also 
a page all about Paper Pumpkin and with instructions on how to sign up and a QR code that you can scan to take you to the website. These pages are such a great tool for somebody who's looking for a choreographed experience of stamping or crafting. On the next page, you'll see on page 12 and 13 starts our quick and easy options. These will be great for somebody looking for a more casual crafting experience. One of the most important pages in this section, I think, is this top 10 crafting essentials section. Sometimes when we're crafting, we don't know where to start. This is a great page for you. It gives you the top 10 things that you need when starting to craft. You need a good pair of scissors. These are our great paper snips. You need some adhesive, some dimensionals. Those are one of our very favorites in this office. You'll need some ink. You'll need some clear blocks for your stamps. Of course, you'll need a cute stamp set. This saying, hey, stamp set is a great sentiment stamp set. You'll need a punch or two, some cards and envelopes, something to clean your stamps with, like our Simply Chamois, but most of all, you'll need a demonstrator, somebody to help you along the way. As we go on, you'll see a new offering that has come out. We have some note cards and envelopes. These are some decorative note cards and envelopes, so cute. We have some ephemera packs. These are different packs that have different images that you can punch out and put just pop right onto a card. We have some simple saying stamp sets. And one of the greatest things is all the layout ideas that they show you. They give you so many ideas. So if you're lost, you can look on this page, page 20 to 21, and get all the ideas you might need for making your cards. This next page is a great one that's another tool in our catalog. If you look here, it shows us basic card designs using stamps, ink, and paper, and maybe putting a little accessories on there. We have here on the bottom a little bit of inspiration. This is one of my favorite parts. We have all of these layout ideas that you can use using all the different ephemera and note card and envelope packs that we offer. There are even more of these online. And then the catalog shows us our different color families and how they coordinate together. We have our subtles, brights, regals, and neutrals. There's actually something even more cool later on in the catalog. We'll get there. The next section is creativity your way. A lot of us identify as an avid crafter. You know who you are. This is the section for you. In this section, you'll find our sweet collections, the bundles, and stamp sets that we offer, along with the extras, accessories, ribbon, all the things. So let's give a little tour. I know that you wanna see every single page of this catalog. We'd be here all day. So I'm just going to give you a few of the highlights in this Creativity Your Way section. We're going to start with our sweet collection page. This starts on page 34 of the catalog and continues on. This is an example of what one of our sweet collection pages look like. So you get a little sneak peek. The Mediterranean Blooms. I love this paper. Is it not just gorgeous? So you'll see in our sweet collection section, everything that belongs in the suite. So we have the stamp set, the dies, accessories, and paper. And then you'll see some card designs that use this product. It's awesome and continues on for a number of pages. The next section I wanna talk about is our bundle section. As in the past, there are certain items that if you purchase in a bundle, you get to save 10%. These are all organized into one section starting on page 56 of the catalog. So nice. The next section I wanna show you is our encore section. These are returning bundles from past catalogs that are now here shown on these pages and you get to see them together. One of the things I love about this page is this little QR code here. It says visit us on Pinterest for more projects using these incredible products. I love that they have led us right to their Pinterest page in order to get some great ideas for using these bundles. I wanna show you how to use that QR code. So if you go to your camera on your smartphone and just hover right over that QR code, 
you can click right to that link that it brings up and it will it will take you right to the Stampin' Up! Pinterest page. You can get any idea from any stamp set that Stampin' Up! has had. Such a great tool. The next section I want to show you are the stamps. Now these stamps are organized differently than they have been in the past. They are organized by stamping technique which I think is great because it all depends again on what kind of experience you want to have. So we'll start with the first couple pages. If you want to use a stamp set that you can use the front and the back side of, they have a few different options here. You have the planted paradise and the sea turtle. On these you can turn the stamp over and use both sides so you get double the stamped image. So cool. One of the other techniques, you can go to step it out. This page talks all about two-step stamping. Two-step stamping is one of the best techniques to use and we have some great stamp sets that offer two-step stamping. In this section is also our background stamps. You can see them all listed here. The next section I want to show you is called Reasons to Craft. I love this idea. They have taken different reasons to craft and organize stamp sets just for you when you have a specific reason. For example, this is the show appreciation page. So you can come here, you know I want to make a card for somebody that did something nice for me and I want to say thank you. I can come to the show appreciation page and find some thank you stamp sets that I can use to make a thank you card for somebody in my life. Another section is the craft with kids. This is a great section if you want to do some crafting with your kids and it shows some really fun stamps that would appeal to a younger audience. Maybe you're interested in making some invitations for somebody. There's a page just for that too. All right, the next section is a lot of our very favorite section, the accessories. So on this page, you'll see all of our metallic offerings in one place. We have our metallic paper, silver foil, and all the metallic accessories that you'll need. Next, we have our page of ribbon, one of my favorite pages in the catalog, and then all of our embellishments on one page. And then we have our sticky business page. This is a great page showing all of our adhesives. And one of my favorite features are these little icons that you can see next to each of the adhesives. If you look over here, this says which adhesive is best for my project. Cardstock and paper, ribbon, embellishments, die cuts, 3D projects. And you can come here and see, okay, if I want to use dimensionals, that's good for cardstock and die cuts. If I want to use multi-purpose liquid glue, that will work for cardstock, embellishments, die cuts, and 3D projects. Such a great tool to have. On this next page, we have all of our watercoloring techniques. If you know me, you know that I love to watercolor and having a page specifically dedicated to watercoloring makes my heart happy. So we have our water painters, our watercolor pencils, Stampin' Spritzers, and pastels all in one place. Okay, and on to one of my very favorite pages in the whole catalog. We have a color theory page. On this page, you will see all of the colors that we offer. In this first little circle, you'll just see them listed by red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. But on this outside circle, you'll see them listed by Stampin' Up! name. We also have on page 133, some different color theory layouts. So you have your monochromatic, meaning you're going to stay on one side of the color wheel. You have your complementary, meaning you're going to use opposite sides of the color wheel. You have your analogous, meaning you're going to use neighboring colors. Or you have your triadic, meaning you're going to use three on opposite sides, like the primary colors. And last but not least, we have our color collections. I am obsessed with the layouts for our color collections and how they show our colors. With our subtles, Look how cute this ice cream cone is showing all of our colors in the subtle family. We have our brights and it looks like a bright fun party on that page. Our regals with all of these yummy looking vegetables. We have our neutrals. 
and we have our in colors with both our new in colors and our returning in colors. Now that we're done with our tour of the catalog, I hope that you look for the crafting experience that fits you best. Again, in our office, we are so excited about this new annual catalog and the opportunity it has to appeal to all kinds of crafters. If you haven't received one of these annual catalogs, make sure to fill out the form in the description of our video and we'll be sure to send you one for free from Stampin' Jill. If you have any questions, make sure to email us at sudemonstrator or comment below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.